United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be standing in real stand for it, Um, respect, excellence, accountability, and leadership. Hi, I'm Spencer, and that's Kate. Kate, spell today. T O D A Y. Spell spelling bee. S P E L L I N G B E E. Yup, that's right. Today is the spelling bee. Yay! Congrats to everyone, and good luck to everyone who's participating. I hope you all do well. May the best speller win. I R I D O. C I C L I T I S Iridocyclitis. Hey, did you hear about the NJHS fundraiser? Yeah, congratulations, Ingleside, on an amazing three day uh, Cans the Care food drive. You guys really stepped it up and helped feed our baby's food pantry. In fact, your donations came at a perfect time. They had just held a family event and were in desperate need of items. We were able to refill their empty shelves with over 250 items. Way to go, Trojans. Our top three homerooms were Mrs. Green's class with 55 items, Mrs. Haynes class with 47 items, and Miss Taylor's class with 41 items. Great job, students. Miss Christman will be in touch with plans to set up a date for your donut party. Thanks again for your support with our food drive. Be on the lookout for information about the NJHS next fundraiser this month, Penny Wars. Yeah, I think Ingleside, it's so cool that we got to help so many families in need. Also, did you know that Wednesday, December 4th is the IMS Orchestra Concerts at Arcadia? Students report at 445 and the concert starts at 630 in the Arcadia Performing Arts Theater. Also, Thursday, December 5th, is the IMS Band Concert at Arcadia High School. Students report at 445 and the concert once again begins at 630 in the Arcadia Arts Theater. Today, Kate, Amy, and Georgie, and myself, will be discussing roundtable questions and concerns for Ingleside. So our first question is, should kids be allowed to express themselves the way they want or the way they feel? Um, I think they should. Okay, I think you can, but you shouldn't do it in a negative way. That like could hurt a group or someone and make them feel uncomfortable about going to school. Like, or like unsafe. Yeah, they shouldn't be uh, offending someone, like a student group of individuals. Mm -hmm. And if they do, like in a situation where they do feel unsafe around. It's December 4th. That means Hanukkah is 18 days away and Christmas is 21 bit days away. But honestly, who's counting? You. Now to a special report with Gabby. Hey Ingleside, I'm Gabby with your special report. It's getting colder outside. Along with the cold comes winter holidays. There's obviously Christmas and Hanukkah. It starts the evening of the 22nd and ends the evening of the 30th, 2019. There are eight nights of Hanukkah because it's about the oil in a candle that was only supposed to last one night, but ended up lasting eight whole nights. Christmas is about the birth of Jesus. It's celebrated on the 25th as well on Christmas Eve on the 24th. Kwanzaa is a week-long annual celebration held in the U.S. and other nations of the African diaspora and the Americas to honor African heritage and culture. It starts on December 26th and ends January 1st. Even if you don't celebrate any holidays, winter is still a fun because we get two weeks off for winter break. Thanks, Gabby. Do you want to hear a fun fact about Christmas? Sure. Well, did you know that according to multiple sources, Rudolph's red nose is probably the result of a Paris site infection of his respiratory system? According to Roger Highfield, the author of the book, The Physics of Christmas, from the aerodynamics of reindeer to the thermodynamics of turkey, the world's most famous reindeer has a red nose due to a parasite. However, Rudolph's relationship with his parasite is symbiotic. After all, the red nose illuminates the path through the winter night for the whole reindeer team. That's taken from passbook.com. I know. By the way, have you heard about our sports teams? I hear they're doing really good. Let's go to Kyle to see if that's actually true. Aloha, Ingleside. Today in Ingleside Sports, we will be playing against Tonalia. Girls soccer and softball have a home game, while boys soccer will have an away game. 
And as for tomorrow, girls soccer and softball will be having another away game. As for more national sports, for Thanksgiving football games, the Bears won at Lions, Bills won at Cowboys, and Saints won at Falcons. But now that Thanksgiving is over, we can move on to Christmas and Hanukkah. More on that with Spencer. Wow, thanks, Kyle. That's divine. Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, oh, dreidel, I shall play. Oh! Let's stop recording before it gets worse. <laughs> okay. I made it out of sand when I tried to play. It crumbled in my hand. Oh, dreidel, dreidel. <laughs> Have a good day, Eagle Star!